The author of a book that is highly critical of Donald Trump's first year as U.S. president said his revelations were likely to bring an end to Trump's time in the White House. Michael Wolff told BBC Radio that his conclusion in Fire and Fury, inside the Trump White House, that Trump is not fit to do the job, was becoming a widespread view. I think one of the interesting effects of the book so far is a very clear emperor has no clothes effect, Wolf said in an interview broadcast on Saturday. The story that I have told seems to present this presidency in such a way that it says he can't do his job, Wolf said. Suddenly everywhere people are going oh my god, it's true, he has no clothes. That's the background to the perception and the understanding that it will finally end. This presidency. Trump has dismissed the book as full of lies. It depicts a chaotic White House, a president who was ill-prepared to win the office in 2016, and Trump aides who scorned his abilities. Trump took to Twitter late on Friday to renew his attacks on Wolf, and on his former top aide Steve Bannon who was quoted in the book. Get the latest news and updates emailed straight to your inbox. By submitting your email you are agreeing to Fairfax Media's terms and conditions and privacy policy. Michael Wolf is a total loser who made up stories in order to sell this really boring and untruthful book, Trump said. He used sloppy Steve Bannon, who cried when he got fired and begged for his job. Now sloppy Steve has been dumped like a dog by almost everyone. Too bad, Bannon, formerly Trump's chief strategist is chairman of the so-called alt-right Breitbart News website. In his interview with the BBC, Wolf was asked if he believed that Bannon felt Trump was unfit to serve as president and would try to bring him down. Yes, Wolf replied. He also hit back at claims that the book was untruthful. This is what's called reporting. This is how you do it? He said. You ask people, you get as close as you can to the event, you interview the people who were privy to the event, you interview other people who were privy to the event, you come to know the circumstance as well as anybody and then you report it. Reuters